And so there's this word, it's a big buzzword right now, and it kind of pisses me off. It's a buzzword, but it has like some rich historical uh, meaning to it as well in the way it's been used. But I would say largely right now it's being used in a way that makes it seem like a holy venture when really um, it's the most narcissistic thing ever. And that is the word sacrifice. Um, a lot of business owners, successful people will talk about all the things they had to sacrifice in order to become successful. And it sounds like, wow, a valiant effort. They really sacrificed everything. But, but what did they sacrifice? Usually they had to sacrifice other things so they could get what they want. Like they had to sacrifice time with their family so that they could be billionaires or million, whatever. That's what they sacrificed and it's for the purpose of money. Now I understand if you had to like sacrifice time with your family because you're doing something that's like genuinely world changing and you wish you could have spent more time with your family and you know, maybe you could have done a better job of involving them first off. I don't know. I don't want to go too far into that. But ultimately, I think we've got to let go of the idea that sacri- like just because you hear the word sacrifice doesn't mean it was good. People all throughout history have sacrificed really bad things. They've done really bad things with sacrificing. So think about that. Look at the people that you're listening to and they talk about sacrifice. I want you to evaluate what they're saying they sacrificed and what for. And ask yourself, was it really worth it in the end? Like, on their deathbed, I know this is like a terrible sadistic uh, uh, analogy, but like on their deathbed, are they gonna be so thankful that they sacrificed time with their kids so that they could get their dream? Because <laughs> maybe, maybe you need to sacrifice your dream for your kids. Just throwing that out there. What do you think?